Good morning, good morning, Big Square, RoadToRuda.com, with your morning horn of Z's. Um, been away for a while, uh, well-deserved break, but now I'm back at it. Let's start, actually not with Zero Hedge, let's go to Cryptos, we haven't talked about them for a while, uh, I haven't, and uh, things are going great, going swimmingly, uh, Bitcoin's still over 7,000, which is phenomenal uh i had projected back last december that bitcoin would be ten thousand by the end of the year i still hold on to that projection i think it's very easy for it to hit ten thousand. it might go up above it and then come back by then um but going forward remember crocodile teeth going all the way up uh thirteen thousand by february twenty thousand or so by my birthday july 4th of next year um that's just bitcoin though and Bitcoin in one of the forms of Bitcoin. I am not so sure that Bitcoin as BTC uh, will survive as BTC. I think Bitcoin Cash might even take uh, over for Bitcoin. I just don't know. And I can give you scenarios where that exact thing happens uh, after this next fork where everybody runs into Bitcoin Cash because it's faster and cheaper. Um, and then all of a sudden Bitcoin Cash is the darling of Bitcoin because Bitcoin forks, you know, who knows which one's going to be the biggest. If you hold your Bitcoin in a wallet in your own possession prior to August 1st, you own Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Gold, Bitgold, uh, Bitcoin 2X, you hold everything. You got it all. So you don't have to worry about it. Lucky you. Uh, it's probably not luck. It's skill. Skill for you. Uh, but I, I, I do like uh, Bitcoin Cash more than I like Bitcoin these days. And the, the basic purpose and meaning is that Bitcoin Cash lives up to Satoshi Nakamoto's um, desire for his invention to be used as a, a currency. as It's for the people, not for uh, those rich people who are trying to hodl. And I do think there are people behind the scenes that uh, have the power to manipulate this such that Bitcoin Cash uh, is the dominant force going forward. So kind of a swapping where Bitcoin Cash goes to 10,000, Bitcoin BTC goes down to, you know, 500. Yeah, I don't know. Um, obviously, because Bitcoin is doing so well, <clears throat> the BTC, at least as it's called by, a couple, by most of the exchanges, um, I would just, you know, most people assume that's going to be like that forever, and I don't... I don't think Bitcoin will be like that forever. Whatever derivation is most useful to humanity, I think will be like that. Um, and as far as going forward, I think Bitcoin Cash will be more useful. But then again, we don't really need Bitcoin Cash for um, transactions because we have Litecoin now. And Litecoin is uh, doing everything it can to serve that pur purpose. So that's my number one holding right now is Litecoin, not Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash. Um, and just because I don't want to deal with the whole Bitcoin debacle of all the forks and Litecoin, I know is doing everything in its power. Charlie Lee is doing everything in its power to make Litecoin faster and cheaper. And, uh, I think it's situated for a huge, huge jump from $60 or wherever it is right now. I mean, huge jump. I'm talking the Ethereum type of jump, um, from when Ethereum was just invented, you know, a couple bucks to the three four hundred dollar range in a very very short period of time um and and that's the other thing i want to talk about quickly is uh when these products uh it's either a cryptocurrency or or some kind of token um but there has to be a reason behind these uh tokens and cryptocurrencies for it to appreciate in value Right now, there's uh, 1,265 cryptocurrencies, and that'll rise, Cliff's saying, uh, 4,000 or 5,000 by the end of the year, 20,000 by next year, and that's going to rise. Um, a lot of them will be worthless, completely worthless, and there's so many scams going on. you got to be real careful out there. But it's those cryptocurrencies and crypto tokens that have a purpose, and when that purpose gets realized, when they really take off, like when Ethereum became a recognized platform for building companies on top of it. Um, it went from, you know, seven bucks to 300 bucks almost instantly. 
I think we're going to see that with things like Litecoin. When people recognize that Litecoin is a hell of a lot better for day-to-day -day transactions than Bitcoin is, we're going to see that you know going from six sixty dollars to six thousand dollars. That kind of movement um, because the reason it was invented is being recognized, and you're going to see that with a lot of the um, companies being built. Vertasium is a great example. Vertasium is going to move from $50 to $50,000 in a blink of an eye because the reason it was invented, the purpose of this business has not kicked into the mainstream psyche yet. When Ethereum kicked in, oh my God, we can use this to build businesses. Boom. It jumped overnight and it's doubling, tripling, quadrupling. Uh, you're going to see that for Litecoin. You're going to see it for Vertasium. You can see it for my friends over at Salt. Speaking of Salt, look at that. I'm an enterprise member. They sent me a free Ledger Nano S, and it has salt emblazoned on the on the uh, cover here. I don't know if you can see it. Really cool, along with some stickers. Keep calm and stay salty. Uh, I I put two stickers on my computer. One says uh, "Hodl fast" and then "Salt," and it's two fists like this. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, th companies like Salt, uh, like Adex, like. Uh, populous as soon as they are their product this thing they've been working on for years and years and years salt didn't just come around when it had an ICO and uh, it's been around for years and years and years people working on it people putting together the right software the right uh, you know regulatory issues so you know those people who are crying about the salt price uh, being sold at different levels to different people in its ICO and pre-ICO and, and pre-funding uh, doesn't really get. This company's been around for, I think it's two years now, and they've been working and working and working really hard, but they have no product yet. So when the product comes out, there's going to be a ding, something clicks in people's minds. That is when you're going to see the true power of uh, the blockchain and these companies that are, really are going to change the world. So you'll see salt go you know, from $2 or whatever it is now to you know, 50 bucks, almost instantly. Um, I think it should be now just because we're so close. You know, they, they plan on rolling out the first loans before the end of the year. And that's really when these things kick off. And if you're looking for some his history of proving that, just look at Ethereum. As soon as Ethereum, people, it clicked in people's minds that we can build companies on the Ethereum blockchain, that's when it went from, you know, $7 to $300, $400. And it'll make another move as more and more people come into the crypto space as Ethereum evolves and changes and improves. Because these are this it's software. And it's always improving, always changing, always becoming better. It's hard to leapfrog someone else. You know, you, you see these new companies come out and oh my God, they'll just get leapfrogged. But it doesn't mean that the, the old company has just stopped and said, okay, this is what I am. I'm gonna stay like this. Uh, no, they're improving as well, so it's it's going to be the start and stop thing, and I I'm really excited. I think all the uh, alt alt uh, company tokens that I follow are extremely cheap. Uh, stuff like a Mizigo, OMG, we're going to hit that OMG moment, and it'll go from I see OMG very much like uh, Ethereum, the the moves that are going to happen because once people recognize that Asia is going to use omg massively it'll go from seven dollars to three hundred dollars in a blink of an eye and that's when that's the real excited that's the time that fortunes are made that's the time that uh you can say oh you see i really was investing in the, the future googles and facebook's and uh apple computer and, and all these companies and technologies when they come to market with product is when you're going to see the price the big price move so I just, I'm a hodler, H-O-D-L, hold on for dear life. Uh, it doesn't even take dear life anymore. Once you understand that you're going to go through these ups and downs and ups and downs, and I guarantee you, when it starts going up, you're not going to want to sell. You're going to want to buy more. That's just the way human nature is. So now is a good time to buy if you're going to, uh, if you're in this for the long term, meaning more than a year. And a year from now, these these valuations will be ridiculous, and you'll be laughing at yourself and kicking yourself 
Just like you kick yourself with Bitcoin for not getting in when it was 200 bucks, and then you you were scared to death at 400 bucks, but now you wish you'd thrown everything into 400, and now it's at 7,000. You're like, oh my god, and, you know, it, it's it's in a bubble. It's too high. I can't invest in it anymore. And then six months down the line, it'll be at 50,000. You go, God, 7,000. I wish I had loaded up the boat. Um, it's human nature. And hopefully, if if you listen to the Road to Ruta stuff, if you subscribe to the Road to Ruta email service, which is free, just go to roadtoruta.com and put your name and email in there. Um, I could pat your head a little as we go through these through these uh, drastic, vile moves uh, down and up. Um, and even you know, it's rare I sell, even though I know we're in Bubble City at times because it goes up way too fast and then comes down. Um, because, you know, you just make a decision. Do you need this money right now or would you rather have it, you know, a year from now where it's 10 times as big? And do you mind the, the dramatic drops and rises, uh, and get your mindset around that? And it's pretty easy. You just buy a little, you stick it away and in a safe place and you're golden and you just wait. And you can keep watching if you want. I, I suggest that everybody keep learning. There's so much to learn in the cryptos. You know, I've even kind of stopped learning about all these new companies. There are new companies and new ICOs coming out. Um, some may be the perfect ICO. And um, it takes some time and effort. There's so many frauds, though, out there right now. That's the biggest problem we have. Um, so if you're not invested yet, Pick some of the established companies that uh, are going to do well. They're, the prices are really cheap, you know, less than the – usually an ICO will come out, it'll boom, and then it'll crash because everybody wants to get their money out to go to the next ICO. Uh, but a lot of them are frauds. Um, BitPetit has been proven fraud. I think BitConnect is one of the biggest frauds. I mean, it's a pyramid scheme. Why can't you see this? I mean, why can't people see this? Just because the price goes up doesn't mean it's going to – go up forever it doesn't mean it's a sound business model you know anything that relies on more people coming in or it falls apart is a problem it's a ponzi slash pyramid scheme um so yeah there will be people crying in their uh crying in their coffee about stuff like that i'm i'm an investor i invest in in companies and in some cryptocurrencies that i see a use for I do see a use for Litecoin um, as a means of exchange. Just you know, you can buy a cup of coffee with Litecoin, uh, potentially BitCash too, Bitcoin Cash, uh, which I think I, I I see more Bitcoin Cash as something that could be the potential Bitcoin of the future, the, the sole survivor. Um, I don't know though. I don't know. And if you have pre-August first uh, Bitcoin in your own possession. You hold the uh, you know Willy Wonka's golden ticket, <laughs> literally, because you own Bitcoin, you own Bitcoin Cash, you own Bitcoin Gold, you own two X or whatever next, and after that, um, and let the Bitcoin core developers and and those guys fight it out all they want. There's better things to invest in, and that's the cool part. Um, so, very excited about the cryptos. I'm happy to be back. I'm knee deep in it. As far as what's happening in the world right now, psh, ridiculous. I got back from my little. Uh, three-day vacation from all this and I just I turn on zero hedge and it's insanity continues it's just different insanity so I don't know a lot of the stuff that's happening right now but I can tell you that things about Israel and Saudi Arabia and all that it has to do with the collapsing petrodollar and the petrodollar as seen in the road to Ruta comic books it was the black tears that the uh the flowers cried, and, and Ruta would bury the black tears to create new flowers. That was all about uh, Kissinger and Alan Greenspan, Arthur Burns setting up the petrodollar, requiring the world to buy gas, buy oil in U.S. dollars, which meant there's an artificial demand for U.S. dollars because every country needed to keep U.S. dollars in reserve just to buy oil, and you know every country needed oil. So it's really interesting that to see that fall apart, and, and many people have um, analyzed this and said, you know, if, if the petrodollar ever ended, it would be the end of the U.S. dollar because there's just so many out there. Uh, I, I think you can see a lot of that flowing into the cryptocurrencies. A lot of the multi-zillionaires who get these petrodollars and, and countries are throwing their money into the cryptos because they see that as a, a, a way out, a way out of our current 
unbagged fiat system that is controlled by a very few people at the top. It's a tiny handful of people that control our lives, and, and the cryptos are humanity's way of taking back their life. And I think it's unbelievably awesome. And I, I know all of you listening right now will be knee-deep in cryptocurrencies in five years. So why not start now? You know, it's one of those things you've been, you kind of kick yourself for not getting into Bitcoin and the cryptocurrencies a while back. And now, you know, just think five years in the future. Had, had you invested five years in the past, you'd be sitting pretty. Five years in the future, same thing. You're going to kick yourself for not diving in knee deep. And if you go to roadrooter.com and do searches on which cryptocurrencies to buy, you can find whole, all kinds of information uh, on the good stuff. And so far, all, all the ones that I've recommended have been great because I haven't uh, gone out of my comfort zone of uh, saying, oh my God, you know, you're getting so many tokens here and I can get this bonus here if I get a bunch of people. I don't do that. So I've stuck with things that uh, I can analyze the, the, uh, the business model and say, yeah, this is a good idea. This really will change the way business is done in advertising, in banking, and you name it. It is changing every single industry. Excited about that. I'm just going to jump into a few that jump out. Uh, Ye Yemen rebels threaten attacks on Saudi Arabia. They, the bad guys are trying to start a war in the Middle East. Uh, I don't think Trump will get involved in any of it and let them fight it out. Uh, but that's not a good thing and it's going to get crazier because these bad guys control all the money. And the money is uh, what fuels their uh, desire, money and power. Um, and they don't care about the people who are going to have to die. So we'll hope, we'll hope that war doesn't break out on anywhere else in the world. I mean, we're already in, there's already wars all over and skirmishes all over and you know, bad things because the bankers always want war. It's a very profitable industry. Uh, Bitcoin rebounds sharply after Gartman predicts drop. Gartman's an idiot. He, I mean, Gartman, he's been wrong so many times. He just, I don't even know why people even listen to him anymore. Uh, woman, American woman faces 20 years in Zimbabwe jail for a tweet about Mugabe. We are being led by a selfish and sick man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... You don't live in a foreign country and, and disrespect the ruler. It's just, I mean, how stupid can you get? Um, obviously, she didn't know what she was doing. Or it, maybe she did and didn't care. and she, you know, Stood up for her right as a Antifa fighter. Um, but this is, you know, the, the backside of it is, you know, you're going to get uh, what's due to you wherever you are. And, you know, you can't take your... Uh, your U.S. position, your American position on how uh, you can talk, you know, you have freedom of speech, you can denigrate our president all you want, and think that applies around the world. So, uh, yeah, 20 years in jail in Zimbabwe for talking bad about the president. Uh, let's see, global stock melt up. Remember, stock markets are controlled by computer programs, mostly out of the U.S. Treasury. Steve Mnuchin was the computer programming expert at, at uh, Goldman Sachs. He was the head of IT for Goldman Sachs. That's how the market keeps going up. And everyone says, oh my God, this market it can't stop. It's so wonderful. It's a click of a mouse. How hard is that? And, and they do the same thing to suppress gold and silver. Um, they're not suppressing the cryptos as much because there are people within the Fed who are trying to build this crypto economy alongside our old economy so that the transition is easier. And we've talked about this a lot. On the verge of a catastrophe, Saudi Arabia says Lebanon declared war. Um, word is that the Israelis are all over this stuff and, and trying to cause something because their their uh, system is breaking down. I don't know, uh, but nothing good can happen from all that. German army prepares for breakup of European Union or worse. Uh, how long has it been since the German, German army has been at you know war? The, the problem with Germany is the problem with every uh, state in the EU, every nation in the EU, is that they've opened their borders. And that's what Trump fought against. And thank God he, he you know, at least started winning that battle. You open your borders to anybody outside, 
the, you've got the enemy within, and it, it destroys your uh, your culture, and it is it's just sad to see Germany and Merkel. Merkel's the one who did it, and, and she did it on purpose to destroy nationalism within her country. You destroy nationalism, you destroy your country. Um, who, who in the world would fight for uh, Mother Germany if half the population <laughs> has no uh, allegiance at all? Um, and that's what was saved by Trump uh, winning, is uh, Clinton was going to open the borders and, and so that it would weaken the people and the power of the people and the power of nationalism. I'm absolutely nationalistic. I don't I'm not a blind follower, but I'm also I understand what my country means and and what it is comparatively to every other country in the world. And uh yeah, uh, the, the the attempt by the bad guys as I call them to destroy nationalism, to destroy our culture is now uh being resisted first time in a long long time. And the globalists are saying that uh, that's, we're not moving into a global uh, one world government anymore. We are moving into nation states that uh, protect their own culture, protect their own uh, people. And I love it. I think it's great. Uh, it's the battles going on behind the scenes. Italy's Target 2 imbalance hits record. 432 million euro, billion euro as dwindling trust in banks plunges. Contrary to ECB propaganda, Target 2 imbalances are a direct result of unsustainable balance of payment system. The imbalances represent both capital flight and debts that can never be paid back. Of course, the whole problem everywhere is debt. That is the problem that is what needs to be removed. But one man's debt is another man's asset. So, it, yes, absolute chaos is on the way. Uh, how long will it be delayed? Uh, 2018 is looking like, uh, if you believe The Economist magazine, the um, the one world currency, not necessarily one world government. They're talking about a one world currency. But if, if the bad guys control it, who gives a damn? You know, we, we lose everything. And uh, that's kind of where, if you look at gold, gold was a one world currency. Absolutely. It was accepted pretty much around the world as money. Um, that's kind of faded now, and the cryptos are taking the spot that, you know, the gold's biggest problem is counterparty risk, that third-party risk. And if you say, yeah, no, but I hold my gold in my own possession, there's no third-party risk. There is a third-party risk if you have to transact with uh, somebody in China. How do you get your gold from here to there? Uh, you can't without trusting some third party to ship the gold or some third party to accept the gold. Uh, or ship your goods while you're shipping your gold. Yeah, absolutely third-party risk. So spending metals, uh, is that involves third-party risk. Uh, it doesn't involve third-party risk to store them, but when you're going to sell them, yeah, you got to trust a third party that they're going to be there to pay you in whatever uh, you're looking for. Um, if you're trying to barter with gold, or nations, even nations, Remember, when this system falls apart, all the trust will be lost. So going to a gold standard is impossible because you're going to have to trust that these countries have the gold they say they have. If they're shipping it to you for you know, oil or whatever, that they, the shipping process of the gold is going to happen. And you, tr you have trust while this is all going. And then you have to trust that the oil is going to get there. So there's all kinds of trust in the gold back system or a gold system or a gold back. Obviously, gold back is pure trust. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm not a fan of the gold uh, bugs anymore. It, they're being left by the wayside. And I know there's just a lot of gold out there. There's billions and billions of ounces is what uh, the head of the, the front page of the New York Times in, uh, was it 1911, said about the Grand Canyon, billions and billions and billions of ounces. And it's been locked away ever since. So, yeah, there's so much gold. And gold at Chocolate Mountain in California and all over the world. Every time uh, a country finds a gold mine, they hide it. You know, why, why use your gold when you can use unbacked fiat money, electronic fiat money um, that is criminal? you got to trust everybody who prints it. Um, the good thing about uh, the cryptocurrencies is you don't have to trust anybody but math. 
and that is absolutely true for Bitcoin, 21 million coins. Yes, there are diversions and forks and all that, uh, but it's still 21 million of that specific coin. BTC is 21 million. Uh, Bitcoin Cash is 21 million. You can trust in that. And um, all you got to do is trust math. Whereas everything else in the fiat monetary system, you have to trust that uh, Steve Mnuchin and Yellen and whoever the new guy, I forgot his name already, that they're not going to print a billion dollars to bail out a bank, a hundred billion or a hundred trillion, or they're not doing it already, which they are. The United States prints trillions of dollars every year. They don't tell you about it. They don't print it. They just enter an electronic entry and lie to the rest of the world. What's to stop them? You want quadrillion dollars? Okay, I can type one with a whole bunch of zeros after it, and I can create the maximum amount of money you need to run your dark operations, your secret space program, anything you want. No problem. That's how easy it is, but it's the trust. Everybody trusts that the U.S. government isn't doing that, and other governments aren't doing that. Of course they are. Absolutely they are. And that's, if you look in the derivative world, there's kind of a byproduct of all this secret stuff going on. Now, how is it that uh, J.P. Morgan sends trillions, $5 trillion every single day out of their secret uh, Florida money base that Jamie Dimon said they do? Five trillion a day. Like, where is this money coming from? What are you talking about? And why? They create it out of thin air. They run their programs. Money is is an illusion. And it's all going to fall apart. Um, and then you have things like Bitcoin, which 21 million coins for Bitcoin. 21 million coins for Bitcoin Cash. Litecoin is 84 million. And I'm a big fan of Litecoin. I think it's faster and better. And Charlie Lee's... Uh, Smarter than most people out there, <laughs> especially the core developer team. Um, so, yeah, that's where I place my bet. Uh, what else is coming back? It's just, you know, truthfully, being away for three days and, and not being literally unplugged off grid, it is, it is a, an amazing feeling you get. After a while, by Sunday, I was just, oh, this is wonderful. But I come back to it, I, I don't even know what these things are, what they're talking about. It's going to take me a couple of days to get back in and say, okay, here's what this means, here's what that means. Um, this The thing that cracked me up is the woman flipping off at Trump's motorcade. Um, <laughs> the Antifa rallies, demonstrations, I didn't hear anything about them, I, a whole lot of nothing. I did hear announced that day that George Soros, uh, at least rumored, had died or is dead, or was killed. Um, I haven't heard follow-up on that. I, it wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me if the Clintons are already passed away. It wouldn't surprise me if a lot of things behind the scenes, these bad guys who they need their image still in the picture for people to be scared of the boogeyman. And if you if you want more than that, just listen to Cliff High's latest couple interviews. Um, the one with Carrie Cassidy. I, I gotta listen to it again. Uh, but it was great. I mean, there's been so many people coming out and saying, I'm the White Hats, I'm this, I'm that. Um, you know, it's the Rocky Dinar and it's the Prosperity Funds. It's all bull crap. It might, it, they might be real funds. They might be real, uh, people who are working with this stuff, but it's not the answer. It doesn't fix the problem. The fix, the problem is people in charge of the stuff in the first place. Put the cryptos in there. And all of a sudden, you don't need people in charge. You need an open source math program and a computer program to say, voila, here's your answer. Use it if you want. Don't use it if you want. I know millions of people are using it now. Uh, Cliff was asked how many people use the internet. I think the estimate is about 5 million, or how many people use uh, the cryptocurrencies. The, the estimate's about 5 million right now based on the amount of wallets that have been created. Although I've created, you know, hundreds of wallets because I, you know, like the small wallet. I, I give out a, a some PPT on a paper wallet to every subscriber and it gets mailed to your front door. So I, I'm in charge of a lot of those wallets being created. But the estimate was around 5 million people are, are involved. Clearly, if you go to any of the uh, blockchain or... Uh, crypto uh, functions around the world, and there's a lot of them now with businesses being developed. You can see that there are 
literally millions of people involved in it already. And I think it was uh, Coinbase said the other day they had a hundred thousand people sign up in one day for uh, to open an account. So yes, it is moving along swimmingly. Uh, Cliff says right now it's about three percent of the population knows what Bitcoin and the cryptocurrencies are. Doesn't mean they you know they're experts at it, and it doesn't mean they own any, but they've they've heard about it. Uh, he says that it was one percent now, and it's moving to three percent by July. It was only three percent of the uh, patriots in the United before the United States was formed uh, that decided to rebel against England, and then everybody else came on board because it was a good idea. Uh, I think the cryptocurrencies in 2018, everybody else is going to come on board because it's a good idea. So by the end of by this time next year, uh, we'll be in a different world, completely different world. And you guys will be telling me about these new cryptocurrencies that are coming on. I'm starting to get that already. And uh, I think it's wonderful. I think uh, you should get involved. You should do a lot of homework. And you should definitely get your hands on some Litecoin. Uh, I would say some Bitcoin Cash and some Bitcoin. If you're going to buy Bitcoin, buy Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. Because one of them will do extremely well. I just don't know which one. And maybe both. Um but definitely some Litecoin, some Veritasium, some Salt, some Amizigo, some... Yeah, I, I have a list of 10. I'm going to add to that list either this week or next week. I've got five more that I think are going to be monsters in the future. So if you're interested, go to RoadToRudo.com, sign up, and don't forget to like this video and send it to all your friends and post it and say, Oh my God, Bix is back from his vacation. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later.